you learned what is connector and you learned how you can connect your child property to your parent property okay for now you i want to use this connector to rig this face first i want to start with um, eyeball you can see eyeball is a layer and i want um, change from left to right okay at first select a layer and then here add zero because i want change position for all layers to zero very good and now here um, for eyeball because i want um, animate this eyeball first add a keyframe here from zero change this to left and change indicator and change this eyeball to right that's good and um, I think okay now it's better here very good just here um, I think um, it's a lot a little at top okay now it's better very good after you create your animate here go to links and constraints and select connector and here at first we should create controller okay select uh, first controller here slider and select this background eyeball this, uh, because here we have two layer for controller this is just for this background change it to here and select this I will and change to here that's good and now I want to connect this layer to this eyeball for connecting just here open here effect slider and select this value and now here in peak master select this peak master and after that you can see value is select and here you can set minimum to maximum for best result go to your animation um, for eyeball okay here you can see minus um, 61 to 78 and uh, 71 and here adjust it uh, minus 62 and maximum 72 that's good and now select your child child property here and now connect to properties now when you select eyeball and change it wow <laughs> as you can see when we change this red ball to left and right it changes eyeball too that's really good and if you want to create animation for this eyeball um, change this for example from here here go to transform and add a keyframe for position for example from here to here change this to here now when you change this indicator you can see change this eyeball okay and if you want create blinking here I have a layer for blink 
you can see when I turn on this is blinking okay first turn on this blinking layer and here go to automation I will teach you what these effects and and now because I want to create blink for my character here we can see a blink okay open blink layer and in transform select opacity select it and then here click blink now when we play that you can see it's blinking but it's not um, good blinking for create a good blinking change this uh, ratio change it to 10 and change this uh, frequency to 0 0.3 okay now when we play that we can see what's happening now again okay it's really good just for example here when we be linking here you should adjust your graphics but for now I want just focusing on um, rigging and animation you will can um, change and fix these problems okay be linking is done now let's go to hair select this hair you can see I want to use this hair select that and go to puppet pin and add one two three and four four puppet is good here and in mesh deform here set a name for example hair one copy hair two hair three hair four and change this now select these four puppet and then here add bones that's good now when we select that and change you can see what's happening here okay if you want connect this with to another property um, here select connector and now I want to use this option because we have X and Y I want use this option but when you have just um, X you should use this slider but here because I want to use X and Y I want to use this controller select that And now here is that changing to hair and now select this and drag it here very good now I want create animation for uh, with this puppet select this press P and and after I started select these four puppet and then here add zero okay again here select this puppet and here add a keyframe you can see it's zero now don't forget at first you must add zero your layers okay 
select that and change indicator to here and now change this for example to here okay it's good and for this again press P add a keyframe and from here to here okay now when we play that it's create this okay now I want connect these two property connect it to this for do that okay uh, say uh, first here press P and select position and here go to connector pick master property I think uh, minus 100 to 100 is good and now select this property hold control and select another uh, position select these two and now select connect to properties okay now when you select this hair control and change that you can see when you change that it's changing too and for example here select here and select this here and add a keyframe from here to here changes to here okay Add a keyframe back. Now, when you play that, we can see what's happening here. When you play that. will be like this or you can just use a keyframe for example from here to here change this now when we play that you can see it will be like this very good And now, if you have another layer for mouth and for speaking, here I have three mouth, one, two, and three. If you want, use lip syncing to your voice. First, you should create many mouth, for example, for O, for a for another voices and first you should turn on all of that and then here create controller and drag it to here mouth select this slider layer and pick a master as you can see it's slider now and now select this three layer for about your mouth and now select connect and here um, before I select connect to opacities change it 0 to 100 because opacity is just between 0 and 100 okay now select connect to opacity that's good now when you select that select here and change that 
Wow. As you can see, you can create a speaking very easy. <laughs> okay, now um, here in position, you can add a keyframe. For example, from here, change that. Example to here. Now when we play that, it's very good. Um, you can select copy this keyframe and again paste it. Now when we play that, it will be like this. Okay, and next is for camera. Here, if you select this camera and select your layers that you want, use um, this 2D camera, and uh, I think all layers. Okay, select all layers, and after that, select 2D camera. That's good. Now when you change that, you can see what's happening here. After create this 2D camera, drag it for example to here because I want use I want to be here and now select that and in position add is click add a zero and then here for this layer, you can add a keyframe and change indicator. And when you change that, for example, to here. Now when we play that. You can see what's happening. Again, it's very good. 